Good morning guys, a real early day here at the shop. Today I'm attempting to get everything painted for the Evo 10 project we've been working on. I was supposed to fit in the black 19 STI in between while we were waiting on this primer, but we had a bunch of other stuff going on. So yeah, today is hopefully paint day for this car over here. That thing. First thing we need to do is head out to Idaho and get this paint tinted because we did a spray out card and the paint color is not ideal. It doesn't match good enough for what we're going for. All right, we got a new spray out card. Let's go and check color again after it was tinted. I'm gonna go ahead and say that is as close as we can get it. It is not perfect. It is white. White is probably one of the hardest to butt match. And of course, the reason I don't want to blend these panels is because we'd be blending onto the factory car, the factory doors, the quarter panel, all that stuff. If we ever decide to go back to OEM, that would be a problem. I'm happy with it. Let's run it. Before we can paint these parts, we do need to go through and sand everything. All of the panels have primer on them. So what we're gonna do is grab some guide coat. You can either use the spray can style or the powder style, both work well. And you're pretty much just gonna cover the hood in a little bit of guide coat. And then you're gonna sand until there's no black left. All right guys, it's the next day. We got the booth all set up. All of the parts are prepped out, ready to go. It is very loud because of the blowers. The first thing we are gonna do is go ahead and knock out the grill section on the front bumper. I also did take some time and completely pressure wash and clean the booth, clean all the filters. We were trying to have a perfect paint job here. So we're gonna go ahead and clean up seal and lay down the black base on the grill section and then we're going to let it sit for a few hours we can go ahead and mask off the grill section and bring all the other parts in here get everything sealed up and spray out the wicked white paint 
very, very excited. I think today is gonna go nice and smooth. I was gonna paint last night, but I decided to wait till the day. It's only nine in the morning right now, so we have all day to get this project finished up. I was gonna spray the hood vents black as well, but I'm still like 50-50 on whether or not I want them black or white. So what I'm gonna do is just paint the whole hood white, and if we want them black, I'm just gonna lay down some vinyl, some black vinyl wrap, and that should do the trick. Well boys, we have a pretty full booth today. Everything's hung up, ready to go. Just got done tacking it off. Let's go mix up the white sealer. The bumper is maxed off, then I ended up just feathering out that edge. So that should look really, really nice all finished up. Let's go mix up the white sealer, get the sealer sprayed out, and we can get moving on from there.
Well guys, it has been a very, very long day. It is now midnight of the same day and we are finally all finished up painting. It took way longer than it usually does. I was trying to make this stuff absolutely perfect and I think for the most part, it's pretty much perfect. The only thing I'm concerned with is the color match. Let's do a quick walk around. Let me show you guys some defects. If I can find defects, this paint booth is a joke when it comes to the painting a lot of part. I'm just glancing at the color. It, the color looks a little off. The booth is a joke when it comes to this many parts just because it gets so cloudy in here. So what I ended up doing on the last coat of clear is just opening up the shop door and opening up that back door and letting the clear just run outside because if it stays in the booth too long, it lands back on the parts and there's dry spray or overspray all over the part. So here's the fenders. The paint job turned out freaking immaculate on everything and it all looks really, really nice. Little tiny pin hole right there. I don't see any sort of runs or not too much dirt on the fenders. Yeah, these things turned out really nice. Stoked with these because if you guys remember, I think it was this fender right here, the whole front of it was snapped off and you can't even tell. All right, let's get this out of the way. Let's do a quick color check. Oh, I am nervous. That's tough. I cannot tell if it's way off or if it's close. I would say it's pretty close. Like I said earlier in the video, white is, in my opinion, one of the hardest colors to match, especially just about matching. If this is blended, I would say this would be a perfect color for blending. I don't know if we could have gotten any closer with just a butt match. I'm pretty freaking happy with that. Comment below if you'd be happy with this. Uh, this paint's still a little wet. I don't want to touch it too much. Huh. I think that's pretty close. I guess we'll have to wait and see and get the car together tomorrow, hopefully. I had some rear spots laying around, being that we're going back to the OEM bumper. So we got those sprayed out. The trunk, I do know there is one run in the trunk somewhere. Right here. Wow, well, that's actually a pretty big run. Damn, that's a big boy. Other than that, looks really nice. Run in the hood right there. Just a little guy. I'm more excited for the back side of these parts, if I'm being honest, just because they were so disgusting before. I can't wait to open the trunk and have an actual white trunk now instead of a black trunk. Back side of the hood looks freaking beautiful. Yeah, this paint is still very, very soft. I'm gonna have to leave these up overnight in the booth. Very nice. And my favorite, the various parts. Front bumper looks insane. Super, super excited with how the front bumper came out. This here's the section that took all the body work. This whole end was snapped off. So that looks really nice. So far, I don't see any defects in the bumper. I am extremely, extremely pleased, my friends. How is this bumper? The bumper didn't really take any color. The only color I applied on the bumper is right here. So it should technically match to the quarter panels perfectly. Tiny piece of dirt. I don't see any runs at all, and it's super flat. Let me see if I can show you guys how flat this is. I might have to say this is my best at home paint job yet. It is hard to spray in this booth, but I do what I can, and I think it turned out really, really nice. Of course, spraying in like Bobby's dad's booth, life is much, much easier. Well, boys, that is gonna be a wrap for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Tomorrow, provided the stuff is hardened up enough in the morning, which I don't know if it's gonna be because it's currently midnight and it's still very, very soft. We can hopefully go ahead and get the car completely back together. I am very excited to see how this thing's gonna look. All white for once. I've never had this car all white with the various parts on it and like with the V40s and the APR wing and all that good stuff. So I'm very, very hyped for that. And I hope you guys are too. Hope you enjoyed.
Peace out, and I'll see you boys then.